Southern Kaduna youth aren't particularly happy at the moment, and this is because or oh, it became obvious when they gathered again to protest against the continuous killings of their people. But what is different now is that they are calling for the declaration of a state of emergency in the southern Kaduna area of the state. Helen Osamide Akins has more. He that kills by the gun, Lord Almighty Father, you know him. Whoever is sponsoring this, whoever his hand is in it, Father will beg you to reach those persons. Southern Kaduna has been in the news over incessant killings and destruction of properties. In 2020, the federal government deployed a special military troop to the area to halt the carnage. This brought respite for the people, desperately in search of long-lasting peace. But despite the security presence in the area, there are still killings and destruction of properties. We are tired of this. This must end. The killing must end. These youths are again in Abuja to draw the attention of the federal government and Nigerians to the plight of their people. They want the federal government to step in and declare a state of emergency in Kaduna as they allege that state government has not done much to stop the killings. We want a state of emergency be declared in Kaduna State. The governor has failed in 2016 December. The governor, that he has identified the terrorists carrying out these killings in Southern Kaduna and has offered them monetary compensation to stop the killings. After his confession, the killings intensified, meaning that the terrorists accepted this money to buy more arms. As I speak to you today, he has not uttered a word concerning the current genocide in Zangon Kataf. If they cannot protect us, they should leave as well. Because we cannot be having a um, bunch of hillocks doing win, 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 and then yet we get killed. After getting killed, they come win, 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 win. They arrest people who are at the scene at that time, trying to sympathize. So we want peace in Southern Kaduna. They are also accusing the government of taking sides with those causing trouble for the people of Southern Kaduna. Yesterday being the 16th of July 2021, during the mass burial, these people came out and attacked our people. And in all of this, the government does nothing. At a point in time, the Kaduna State government comes out, makes statements, says stuff. But right now, they are doing nothing. I never imagined that my parents would be living as IDPs. We expect a governor that will show humanity, a governor that will show the world that, hey, I, I sympathize with these people. All he has been doing is making excuses for the killers. Initially, he said they are reprisal killings. He said they are revenge killings. He has given them too many nomenclatures that I cannot mention here. The Southern Cardinal crisis has lingered for years and has led to the loss of lives and properties. These youth are hoping this will be the last time they will have to come to Abuja to protest the continuous killings in their states. Helen Osamede Akins, TVC News, Abuja.